Why did you shut that up? <laughs> Why did you shut it up? I was like, because you're about three minutes away from yelling at me like I produced this music. <laughs> Yo, yo. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back, guys. Almost forgot to do an intro and just started the video. I was so excited uh, to yeah. watch this that yeah. he just, like, started ready to go. And I was like, we have to do the intro. I was like, no, no. We're not doing a reaction video. We're just watching it. That's all. <laughs> um, welcome back, guys, to the channel. Thank you so much for the support. As always, thank you for the great recommendations with Bill Burr. Yes. He's been a uh, uh, growing part of our channel. and uh, I've been loving his videos. He's so funny. Yeah, he's got some great stuff. And uh, so today we're doing another one that you guys recommended in the comments, uh, why Bill Burr and his wife argue about Elvis. And we thought it was appropriate because we've been doing a little more Elvis on our channel in general. Yeah. So uh, so we figured, why not? And so I, I've never heard this before. It looks like it's from Netflix. Um, so I think he had like a Netflix special, right? And uh, uh, they had that stand-up comedy on there. Okay. And so yeah, but I, I can't complain about any of his stuff so far. He's, <laughs> he's been... Uh, we we've done what four I think now of his. Yeah. Anyways, we've done we've done quite a few. We've done a couple of Dave Chappelle. We've done some Bill Burr. We've done some. I think um, the last one was my favorite one though. It was really funny. Yeah, it was it was really good. The epidemic of the gold digging <laughs> yes. ladies. Ladies, yeah. <laughs> so let's see what Bill Burr is gonna bring to the table yeah. uh, when it comes to his wife and Elvis. Yeah. If you haven't done so already, guys, make sure you subscribe. If you like the video and the reaction, like it and leave us a comment and let us know what your thoughts are. With that said, you ready? Yes, let's watch. All right, let's go. Now, I love Elvis, okay? He fascinates me. He's like the first rock star with the power of television. They just intersected and he went to this, this he ascended to this level of fame that no one had ever been to before. Hence, he made all the mistakes because there was no one there to help him out. Right? He got a piece of shit manager that stole from him. Bam! He stopped making music, started making shitty movies. He's not a good actor, right? Does that. Married a minor, started doing drugs, got fat, got an entourage, got even fatter, started wearing onesies, doing karate kits, splitting his fucking pants, nobody's saying shit. You look good, King. You like that? You like when my royal balls hang out? We love it, King. Keep fucking going. Starts doing pills, gets addicted, he fucking dies alone on a toilet. All right, this man kicked open all of those fucking doors for the rest of us. All right? So I sit down and I'm watching this documentary as a white dude, which is what I am. I'm looking out my white head, watching this white shit. It's coming back into my white eyes, getting whiter by the fucking second. All right? Now, my wife, on the other hand, she's black, right? Now, I hate saying that because it makes it seem like I'm going to start doing some stupid comparison jokes. You know, those dumb white guy, black guy jokes. And you know, it's always like the white guy's like, oh, Jesus, I got I to gotta do my taxes. Can this chair hold me? <laughs> the black guy's always like, you need to loosen up. You got to relax, man. You just got to let it happen. <laughs> <All right? laughs> it's always the same stupid fucking joke. I hate those jokes, you know, because they're easy. And it's been my experience that it's just not true. You know, 15 years of being with her, there's really no difference, you know, because at the end of the day, it's a woman. <laughs> All right? It's going to be the same fights. I don't give a fuck who you're with. I'm not going to lie to you. There might be more head movement and hand gestures with different races of women. <laughs> so, did you uh, did you know his girlfriend was black? No. Oh, yeah. I, I knew that. I mean... That's why I think some of the content that he does, he might get, you know, a better vantage point on some of it. Because yeah, because it's like first-hand that, experience. Yeah, relationship. Yeah, no, I didn't know he was married to a yeah. black, black woman. Possibly an index finger jabbing at your forehead, whatever the fuck that is. Sorry, I missed that because I was... More head movement and hand gestures with different races of women. <laughs> Possibly an index finger jabbing at your forehead, whatever the fuck that is. But at the end of the day, it's the same fights. What's going on with us? Do you need to work on this? Why don't we communicate better, right? So she starts watching this shit as a black person, right? And she's seeing all the racism, obviously, that I'm seeing. But she was catching all this subtle shit that I was too white to see. But I knew I was missing it because I just kept hearing her huffing and puffing. Just sitting next to me being like... Ah. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there like, okay, somebody did something. <laughs> I don't know what just happened, but I don't think that was good. 
So right when, I, right when I didn't think it could get any worse, it could get any more uncomfortable between the two of us, this fucking white dude comes on who evidently discovered Elvis. And he's like 100 and fucking 90 years old. <laughs> and he comes out and starts talking. He's just like, well, uh, basically, uh, I was looking for a white boy that could take the down and dirty, nasty blues and combine it with the pristine, angelic sounds of bluegrass. Yeah, that's what he was doing. He was subtly putting black shit down here while he was propping up the white shit. You know, the down and dirty, daddy not sticking around, drug infested neighborhood blues with the Jesus as white as me, hair the color of the sun, angelic bluegrass playing music, right? So at this point, my wife has like fucking steam coming out of her ears. <laughs> so I make a judgment call. I, j I just fucking shut it off, right? And she looks at me, she's like, why did you shut that off? <laughs> Why did you shut it off? I was like, because you're about three minutes away from yelling at me like I produced this music. <laughs> All right, let's just, just, just forget it. We'll watch something else. She's like, no. Why can't we just watch the rest of this and then discuss it afterwards? I'm interested to see where he goes with this, and because I don't know a lot about Elvis, uh, you know, I don't know his backstory all that much, so I can't really comment on it with, yeah, you know, concrete concreteness, but. I, from what we've gathered so far, that he had a lot of um, history with the black community, as far as I understood. So yeah, I'm a little, I don't, I I'm a little don't confused about where he's going with this one yeah. and where we're going to end up. Yeah. Um, obviously, like you said, everybody has their own point of view. Also, this must be much newer because he has hair. Or, sorry, he doesn't have hair. He's bald in this yeah, one. We got yeah, bald yeah. Bill on this one. <laughs> it's like, it's, I, don't, I don't fucking do that. I just want to watch a documentary. I don't want to have a fucking lecture. Sorry, I, I gotta go back. And then discuss it afterwards. It's like, it's, I don't want to fucking... Nope, still gotta go back further. <laughs> Produce this music. <laughs> All right, let's just, just, just forget it. We'll watch something else. She's like, no, why can't we just watch the rest of this and then discuss it afterwards? It's like, it's, I don't want to fucking do that. <laughs> I just want to watch a documentary. I don't want to have a fucking lecture because of these fucking assholes. I didn't do anything. I'm just, I'm just sitting there watching TV. <laughs> and not to mention, we're just, we're just going to get into an argument. She's like, well, why would we get into an argument? I'm like, ugh. All right, you know why? Because not for nothing, there was some black people in there saying some shit that I didn't agree with, you know? I'm not huffing and puffing. <laughs> yeah, I said that. <laughs> like a fucking idiot. She just what did you like, do? What did like you agree with, Bill? Like what black people that said what? And at that point, it's like you started the luge, right? You can't get off the fucking sled. <laughs> now you gotta have the argument. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. Here we go. Guess we're having this. And I'm like, all right, all right. The black guy who brought up leg shaking, saying Elvis took leg shaking from us. It's like really <laughs> leg shaking. No, nobody thought to. To, to, to fucking do this? <laughs> Why people came up with that? You telling me that? I don't even give you that. Let's say you came up with that, but where did that black dude learn how to do it? Didn't he watch some older black guy do it? But what, because he's the same color? He, he, he's not stealing, he's just carrying on the tradition. But if Elvis does it, oh, what the fuck? Now he's the biggest thief ever? That doesn't make any sense to me. She goes, no, you idiot. It's not about the leg shaking, okay? It's, it's about, he appropriated a culture. He took all the music, he got all the money, got all the fame, he's called the king of it now, and he never gave a shit, not even a shout out. And I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. You made about seven or eight good points there that I can't refute. <laughs> he, he appropriated a culture, I get it, you're right. She goes, fine, thank you. And I go, however, <laughs> not for nothing, do I get mad at you when you get on a skateboard and you start going down the fucking street? <laughs> do I get all offended like, hey man, that's some white shit. Stop appropriating my culture, man. Some dirty white kid in Santa Monica came up with that, man. So she starts laughing. And I should have stopped there, but I'm a comedian, right? <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm getting a laugh. There's got to be a bigger laugh. So keep going, Bill. <laughs> Let's come with another example. So I'm like, yeah, do I get mad at you when you fly from LA to New York in under six hours? And she just, yeah. <laughs> and she just stares at me. She's just like, that was fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. 
That was pretty good. I don't think that was like my favorite one from no, Bill, but it was good it, for it was sure. Also it was short. yeah, it was yeah. shorter. It was um, like I said, I don't really know what the backdrop about Elvis. I was so. gonna say it, it more than anything just made me curious about this whole Elvis story, and I want to watch the <laughs> Elvis movie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I say, it's hard to uh, some of the other stuff he's done. You have a really strong grasp of it because he's talking about something that's relevant. Yeah, right? yeah. You know, whether it's fat people in McDonald's, yeah. right? Um, the white guilt thing, yeah. uh, like you said, the gold digging and stuff. That's all kind of a broader scope of a topic. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's a little more specific, so it's a little bit hard to gauge. But nonetheless, it was still, I thought, you know, Jeez. very high quality stand up comedy. Like, he, do, I, he doesn't really have anything bad. It's all, he always gets a laugh out of you. At some point, like I've watched stand up before where I can. <laughs> it's not really funny. You know, Yeah, it's like you're waiting like 10 minutes to get a really solid laugh. Yeah, in. But with yeah. Bill, it's like he's got so many punchlines and the way he delivers it and everything, he's going to make you laugh somehow. Well, I also like it too, how he'll do it almost like it's not just like joke, 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 or it's not like dragged yeah. out either, but he does make serious points in there along the way too, where it's not just all like. Yeah fabricated stuff you know I do wonder too if that's a true story yeah. well I was also about to say that it's funny to me that he can like kind of like poke fun at his wife like that but he's not like, disrespecting her at all yeah. you know what I mean yeah. so yeah, I, I think like there are funny. some videos too of them like I don't know if they're actually arguing about things or but somebody mentioned that there's some content related to Bill and oh, his wife so true like comedy stuff yeah. we should yeah. watch that anyways I hope you guys enjoyed our reaction guys if you did please hit that like button yes, comment please. let us know if there's another Bill Bird that you do enjoy and what you thought was funny about this one mm -hmm. if you haven't subscribed already please do so hit that notification bell it never hurts <laughs> and uh, make sure you come back for our next video as well as check out our other Bill Burr ones because we've done quite a few now so yeah. definitely encourage you to check those out and uh, leave us your feedback with that said hope you guys have a good one we'll be back soon see you guys in the next one take care